okay now let's talk about trend change so what is a trend trend change trend change is basically when price moves from being bearish to being what bullish or when price uh, move from being a downtrend to being an uptrend okay or let's say when price moves um, from being an uptrend to being a downtrend or from, from being um, bullish to being what bearish so that is basically it I just see the opposite way okay so market structure actually has a ways of letting you know that it has actually switched price structure because sometimes it can seem very awkward and very difficult to understand what price is saying or what price is trying to tell you because you want to be sure of what you're looking at right so when you look at the higher time frame narrative you always want to see price giving you higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher low highs higher lows or maybe the other way around okay whether an uptrend or in a downtrend but in this case i'm using an uptrend as an example i don't know why i like this but i think this is what is most efficient for me right so before price actually tells you that i am going to the downtrend you have to actually see what has the price what has price done has it broken the higher low if it has broken the higher low meaning price has done what changed structure so hence the next thing you are looking for is price to give you what a lower high right now a lower high will start and then a lower low now after that this particular one is now called a lower low and this tends to be what a higher high a lower high but in the first place this is a higher high because it is that higher high that broke structure to now turn into a protected high in a sense that price it means that price is not going to actually come and hit this particular one now you are protected to put your money around this area so that is where the banks are always looking at to put their money right that is why we are supposed to follow the money and know where the money is right so now that price has changed structure telling you that it is going to the downtrend you need to also follow it the way it is right and now start depicting your entry points and other stuff but what i just wanted to do and what i wanted you to understand is oh price has changed to um the downtrend price has changed to the uptrend or whatsoever that you just wanted to see from the higher time frame narrative let me let you understand something from the higher time in the from the higher time in uh, from from the higher time frame narrative you are supposed to act, understand that trend is structure so when you are, come, you are actually coming to look for structure points go to the higher time frame narrative did that and then dive into the lower time frame, the what do you call it the, the lower time frame narrative if you have a poi look for that potential points to see where price actually were to stop and go back to the offside right so that is basically what we're actually looking at in this such class structure so um in this case i have listed i have just labeled this particular stuff down so we have a higher 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 low higher 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 low so you can see this particular higher low was actually the last point where this price the, uh, the last point to create this particular higher high and hence this higher high took the initiative to break this particular structure creating a new lower low hence the lower low now was what created this particular new lower high now it continued like that until this particular place also took uh, struck a strong uh, the sense in that i'm actually going to be in control it now started to create um, a lower a lower low was created from here after it broke this particular uh, lower high saying that i'm now strong and now become to give you what i want a higher a higher high and now the higher high created a lower low and in that manner so a trend change is basically where when price switches from being bearish or being bullish to being bearish or bearish to being bullish okay so let's see in in an example right price is going to in an uptrend okay you are saying that price is going to be breaking the higher highs instead of the lower lows right so price is supposed to be breaking the higher high instead of the lower lows in an uptrend but in, in this case you are you are looking at uh, price to break the higher high but instead of breaking the higher high it broke the lower the higher low now if it breaks the lower low you are supposed to understand that price is now have now changed this trend and it's now what going to the downside this is where this is where everything comes in to now let you know that price has changed its structure so the trend has changed so you shouldn't be looking for buys anymore you should not be looking for sales right so in the swing point you can be able to look for any your entry at any point and then you take your structure because you know your your, your let me see your wallet can hold it then it goes to the direction that you're actually anticipating to go right so this one becomes protected when there is a break of structure of east low right let's say you are um let's 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 put it this way you have uh, uh, children now right and your one of your children has be able to conquer let me say your enemy so when your when your children has conquered your enemy the one you were afraid of right you become secure you become well, if if you used to be afraid of him now you become strong enough to be now oh no my my child can handle it my child can handle it because you are not able to overcome your what your enemy but your child has been able to overcome your enemy so this is how it is um in the forex market there is a battle between the bulls and the bs it is now it is fighting among who is going to win why is why is this happening because currencies are fighting against each other countries are coming against each other saying that i want my currency to be strong this country will be like i want my currency to be strong it's not just this currency but i want my economy right they're saying i want my economy to be strong i want my economy to be strong 
and for your economy to be strong you have to make uh, make sure that and for your currency to be strong you have to make sure what your, your currency is what strong so every every country is trying to put in place ways and means to make sure they are what their current uh, their, their economy is strong enough to handle the other care let me say currency right in a sense that they don't they don't fall into traps or pit uh, pit pit bulls as to areas where price has actually uh like whatsoever or uh, in any ways right uh, for them to be a very poor economy right so a poor economy leads to a currency being not strong and hence the other currency is able to ride it if it is the base currency it becomes to be in a, in a bullish trend if it is a gold currency it becomes to be what in a in a uh, uh, bearish trend okay so that is actually how it is right so price structure actually the plays a very strong role in this particular price structure you need to understand so um these lines are basically depicting the downtrend okay and this one actually depicting an uptrend okay so uh the, in between this one is actually the downtrend and all this is now the uptrend right so you can see price moved to the upside um pulled back and now started in another wave again so that is how it moves and you can see when it started started breaking structures off of this place and this was where price broke structure so make sure price closes below right always make sure price closes below and not with a candle body a wick but a candle body right i've explained this several times in most of my videos and most of my live sessions with you guys and i want you to understand that make sure the candle always break below with a candle body right not break above with a candle wick or whatsoever don't make that mistake because the candle wick can actually turn into liquidity and wick you out and you are you don't know where you are going you you you, you tend to be pissed off and that stuff right so that is basically how price looks like okay so um i think right now let's move to the, the real chart for me to explain to you how price changes in structure all right okay so let's 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 break this stuff um where is my okay right here uh where do i pick this from um okay so there's a whole lot of areas that i can pick well, let me just pick from here right this is very simple so let's move to the one hour time frame so that you can see this clearly and other stuff so now when you look at this particular structure right here price is creating higher highs and lower lows and lower highs right so price came to the downside created a high a low a high then this high was not strong and this low was not strong so let's just say this is a high and the new low hasn't been created so hence we are now waiting for the new low okay so and the new low hasn't been created so let's wait for the new low all right so the new low has not been created because this one hasn't broken that's close below the structure point right here so the next thing we are wanting is to see price breaking above okay or let's focus on uh, the lower time frame structure so you can see price on an, on an intraday price created a low a high a low a high then a lower low right so this lower low has been taken so now for you to be able to identify or let me see prove that this particular one is going to go to the upside you have to run wait and see price breaking this particular low here turning it into a bullish structure and now start creating higher highs and higher lows just that same way until price breaks structure and then continues to the downside that is why we are always looking at so this pattern will continue to exist forever right forever no matter the years or whatsoever this pattern is going to forever going to uh, let, let me see uh, so as i just mentioned you can see how price has started to create a higher high and a higher low okay price came out breaking the structure and continue the trend to the upside right so you can just see how price is moving okay now it has broken officially now giving us that we are in what in a strong bullish trend so hence we should be looking for buys okay so in this case i can see how price has started uh breaking structure case started to kind of make this and in this case for you to see if um this particular place is bullish uh, bearish you need to wait for a break of structure right so that is actually what we are always looking for so price breaks to the upside in this case uh, created a low this is a low a high and this low has also started creating because it i think it has just barely broken structure right you always want to see the break of structure you want to see the break of structure very clearly okay just uh, just see it very clearly though it is not you don't have to wait for a picture perfect okay so this this was a high and a low created here because this low was has broken the structure and we are looking for a new so this becomes our high because there, there is a pullback okay until the low is taken we are in a bullish trend okay until the low is taking so now we are waiting for this low to be taken and we confirm that we are in a downtrend 
that is basically what you are looking for okay now price has broken the structure we are in the downtrend so we are waiting for a pullback for price to continue to the downside and basically that is what is actually going to happen you can see how price created a pullback and then created a high so this can basically break structure and continue to the downside that is basically what we are looking for right so price doesn't just behave anyhow price moves in structures right just as i mentioned in the previous episodes i said price moves in structures and you are supposed to understand what you are looking for make sure you have price structure of your structure break and your structure mapping know how to uh, the price structure breaks for you and know how to identify price structures don't come to the lower time frame and be identified these, these ones as trends okay these are just uh, intraday structures and it doesn't make any sense if these were trends okay and probably these ones wouldn't have been valid i, I, I will consider it valid when this is broken I, I would have considered it valid if these ones are broken if these ones are broken on the lower time frame like this i don't really care because it doesn't actually mean it is a structure so in this case now you have your break of structure your low your break of structure your low your break of structure your low sorry for the messy chats oh my network are trying to interrupt me in the game so yes that is basically how it actually happens that is how it works so let's know that um, price moves in waves price moves in flames um sorry i was wrapping i just want to summarize everything quickly because i have other videos i have to create for you guys okay now that this particular price structure has been arranged i'm I, um you might wonder why i'm recreating this after i've recreated other videos okay i'm recreating this because this is essentially this is what you need to actually succeed in the forex market okay it might not be picture perfect but you have to, you have to actually dive down into the lower time uh, into the charts yourself back test back testing is the essential thing you need right so if you don't have a laptop i i urge you to get one um and try your best to also if you don't uh, uh if you don't have and you don't have any money to get one i urge you to also try your possible best to know what um to you know um to get uh to make use of what you have in hand right because it, it is what is going to help you right that's what is actually going to help you in this market that is actually what we all look for and it is very important make sure you use i i, I possibly was bor borrowing computers up and down okay until i got my own and yeah it hasn't been a free world for me but i think this is crazy okay all right so um thank you for joining this episode and i'll see you in my next episode